should you run a joint account with your husband? And that has been the question on the lips of so very many ladies out there. Ride with me in this video. I'm going to tell you one or two things and that will make you to decide whether to run such a joint account or not. I'll be right back. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this one today. Um, it's going to be a very big one, but very short at the same time. Should you run a joint account with your husband? Joint account, joint account, joint accounts with your husband. Of course, joint account, anything account has to do with money. First of all, what is joint account? Joint account is a bank account that is held by more than one person and each individual having the right to withdraw and the right to deposit fund. The right to withdraw and the right to do what? To deposit fund. So that, what that means is that in as much as you have the right to deposit, you have the right to withdraw. That means you must equally have the right to see exactly what goes on on that account. These transactions, you must be able to be able to see the transactions on that particular account. It is a good thing to have a joint account with your husband, but certain things need to be considered. Certain factors need to be taken note of before you can run a smooth joint bank account with your husband. Don't forget, a lot of homes have been destroyed. A lot of marriages have been thrown in the trash as a result of money. And because when you talk about joint account, you are talking specifically about money. And money is very powerful. A lot of people say money is spirit. Yeah, well, it could be, could not. Depends on how you look at it. But I am saying to you that a lot of homes, if you are not careful enough, a lot of marriages has been resourced. So if you are not careful, money can ruin your relationship. Money can ruin your marriage, let alone now wanting to join your husband in running a bank account, a joint bank account. It is good because it is a certain percentage of your husband's income, certain percentage of your income together, and you put it in a particular bank account with you and your husband having the right to see exactly what goes on on that account going forward. Okay, but certain factors still you need to look at before you can run a smooth bank account, a joint bank account with your husband. If you don't put those factors into account, these factors into account, your marriage will be destroyed as, that, as a result of that particular joint account you initiated or your husband initiates. So you need to first of all uh, make sure that you understand critically where the kind of man you marry, the kind of man your husband is, his characteristics, his features, before you can think of joining your hands together with him to run uh, a joint account. For me, on my side, I have, I'm going to give two forms of joint accounts, but you're only going to pick one, which I am going to say, okay, this is the right one for you uh, to pick. Right. The first form is the husband bringing certain percentage of his income. You are bringing certain percentage of raw income together on the table and you put it in the bank. All right. With you having the right to see exactly what goes on on the account, he has the right as well. And the second form is bringing the totality of your income and the totality of his income together. And you now decide what to do with it in case you need to buy soap, you need to buy this, you need to do some toiletries, you need to do some, some shopping, that it will be known to the both of you. Right, I am going to support, I am going to decide, and I'm going to speak on the first form, which is you bringing certain percentage of your income and he's bringing certain percentage of his income together. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because if you put the totality of your money and totality of his money and you guys put it together in one bank account, so that means if you want to buy some toiletries, you still have to report to your husband. If you want to buy X and Y, you still have to report. But if you put X amount of money X amount, X or amount of money, maybe certain percentage of your income, certain percentage of his income together. That means you still have something left to cater for yourself during the course of the month. So that's the reason why I'm going to choose the form A, which is really, really uh, going to help you. And as a matter of fact, so what are the things you need to take note of? And if you have to run a joint account, then you must also be a signatory to the account. Definitely, you must be a signatory to the account. That means is that you'll be able to see the activities that goes on on the account, the withdrawal, the deposit of funds, you know, different kinds of things that goes on on the account. And just in case in the future, anything can happen, perhaps in case of divorce, 
If you have a joint account that you are a signatory to, if anything is going to happen in the future, whatever is in that joint account belongs to the two of you, 50-50. Okay, 50-50. But if you're not a signatory to the account, you don't put into account the kind of person you, your husband is or you are not prone to having the privilege to know exactly what activities go on on, on that particular account. It's going to be really, really difficult just in case something happens in the future, death, divorce, anything can happen. So in order for you, we're not praying for such to happen. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying just in case anything of such happen in the nearest future, you will definitely have something to uh, fall back on. Right. Before you embark um, on a joint bank account with your husband, certain things, just like I said, uh, need to be put into consideration. You need to check, first of all, the kind of man. This is where the, uh, the, the talk is now. You need to, first of all, know the kind of man you're married. Who is your husband? Does he cheat? Is he prudent with money? Are you sure he truly loves you? Are you sure he's planning the future together with you? These are the basic things you need to put into consideration. You need to look critically well into this before you run a joint account with your husband. Take for instance, you are running a joint account with a man that cheats. Though we know, we know quite well that it is going to be difficult for him to take out money from that account without you knowing. But would you, would you, would you refuse your husband if he says he needs certain X amount of money to do certain things? No, you wouldn't refuse him. You will want to grant him access because he's your husband.